Huh? What is it now? Wasn't the game supposed to have started already? Yeah, well, yes. But the junk press broke down, and we thought we'd use the time for a little tutorial. Who thought that? I don't need no stinking tutorials. So how are you going to fix the junk press? Just watch me and learn. Maybe you want to listen to what I have to say first? But you don't have anything to say. Oh, come on. It won't be long. Just point the cursor at me and left-click. We'll see about that. Um, I'm here. Yeah, I know that. Didn't you want to talk to me? Just point at me and left-click. Will you stop yakking then? Actually, I wanted to give you the next hint. Really? How extraordinarily exciting. Up here, Rufus. Up here. Yes, I know. Up here, Rufus. Up here. Yes, I know. Computer, talk to Wenzel. You don't have to say that explicitly. Um, who's talking to you? Why, you are. You clicked on me. Smarty pants. Just tell me what's wrong with the junk press. And stop wiggling your feet. It's pressing only very gently now and doesn't really squish sufficiently. Hey, every idiot can see that. Well, why don't you present the tutorial then? Okay, piece of cake. But first, I'll explain, um... How to look at an object. I know that. I see. And how? I point my cursor at it and right-click when I see the eye icon. Well, the theory is easy, but how about the actual practice? Hey, this is your tutorial. You're a cop-out, but be that as it may, I'll demonstrate. Uh, do you see that little uh, thingy on the floor over there? I will now use the um, tongue icon. The eye icon. Yeah, I will now click on it. Thusly, having a look at it, so you better watch closely. What's that? It's a cathode plunger. Thanks for the input, Wenzel, but I recognize a hydro clamp duplexer when I see one. Too bad I can only look at it. A duplexer like that could be useful. You can pick it up. You just have to point your cursor at it so the hand icon appears. If you left-click now, you'll pick it up. There has to be an easier way. If you say so. Okay, I've picked up the duplexer, but what am I supposed to do with it now? You put it into your inventory. That's where all the items go. You've picked up that object. Now you can open your inventory by using your mouse wheel. Hey, there it is! Correct! This is your inventory. Yeah, I knew that. It's where you can see what you're carrying around. You still know how to do that, don't you? What am I supposed to do with this? Mm, it looks like a broken spare part. Well, then watch me fix it. Look, Wenzel, I'm almost done. Impressive. And I mean that. Huh, it fits. Now you have to... Hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. If you say so. Uh, Rufus, there's one more thing. I told you I'd manage without your help. Now, all I have to do is press this button here, and right away... Oh, how I love tutorials! It's kind of pathetic, you get all erratic About dirty dishes congesting the sink I'm tired of your bothers, remember our fathers They dwelled in a world filled with rubbish and stink But when all hope was lost, someone raised from the dust He was handsome and cunning, his haircut had style Courage was shining in his eyes As he said, screw you guys, mind your own business I'm off now, goodbye Huzzah, he's off now, goodbye Junk. Junk. And more junk.
A life of order and happiness. Oh, my bad. That was junk, too. <sighs> well, that does it. I need to leave this dump. Fortunately, this time my plan is foolproof. This time everything will work out. Where did I put my list? Heck, I really have to get away from this junkyard. Huh. My old escape plans. Some of them weren't half bad. It really is time I got out of here. Ah, there's my list. Let's see. Seems like I've packed almost everything I need. All I need now are some provisions. A toothbrush, a pair of socks, and a bolt cutter. A bolt cutter? What the... Well, guess I must have had a reason to put it on the list. Oh, my father left me. Besides alone was this stupid wooden trunk. Then he left the ponia without me. My father left me a trunk before he left me. I don't want to open it. I don't want to be disappointed yet again. The oil is rancid. I could use it for hair wax. The best thing about it is the can. This could be useful. Blech. Nah, like always, there's only junk on TV. I can sleep when I'm dead, or if I survive and uh, get confined to bed with broken legs. Hmm, locked. Tony must have the key. Whoa! What the... the toothbrush bailed out on me. Guess I should have kept it in a more germ-free environment. Tony says it's my turn to clean the bathroom. Now that's just unfair. It's never her turn. I've been waiting for weeks, and it's never her turn. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Oh crap. I need a better plan to catch it. Whoa, what's that? A guillotine so I won't enter her room? Whoa, that girl has issues. I honestly wonder why we were ever together at all. Another note from Tony. What's she complaining about now? Stay out of my room. You have no business in there anymore. Who does Tony think she is? I've got better things to do than rummage through her drawers. Adding oil to the flames is not part of my escape plan, but <laughs> it's an integral part of plan B. I usually leave that stuff for Tony. I've only used it once, but all my clothes got discolored. And the shed burned down. This could be useful. A bolt cutter is a pretty useless gadget, if you think about it. Why did I plan to take it along? No, I haven't finished packing yet. Do the dishes already. They won't do themselves. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll take that chance. You've scoffed all the food yet again, and I keep finding your crap in the fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh?
I don't understand the question. You're not supposed to eat on the sofa. I keep finding leftovers in it. Huh? Well, isn't that a good thing? The good old sofa. Too bad I can't fit it into my escape pod. I've had the most amazing ideas sitting here. Plus, you can always find leftovers in it. Adding oil to the flames is not part of my escape plan, but <laughs> it's an integral part of plan B. I guess I could smudge the note this way, but why should I? I'm not reading the notes anyway. Burn the note. <laughs> not a bad idea, but I need some more for the fire to really get going. Eh, seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. But without something to put them into, nah, I'm not collecting them. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. Hmm, too bad there's no boiling water. I may not be an expert, but... Hmm. I'll have a quick look, see if I can find something useful in the pockets. Hey, there really was something in there. A sock! Cool! No, I haven't finished packing yet. Blech. What gnats piss! Blech. I don't see why I, of all people, should do the dishes. I mean, Tony has much more experience with it. Yes. Huh, not a chance. The handle is missing and I can't get my fingers into the cracks. Huh, not a chance. Uh, although I can reach inside the crack, I don't have enough leverage. This would make a fabulous all-round tool. Nah, who needs fabulous all-round tools anyway? <laughs> That's for amateurs. This would make a fabulous all-round tool. Nah, who... <laughs> That's... Ouch! I'm not sticking my hand in there again! The mouse skedaddled long ago, which doesn't mean that its plan was better than mine. Well, those are two socks, all right, but I need a pair. I don't want to show up in Elysium dressed like an idiot. I can't do that to the mouse. That'd be animal cruelty. I think I can find a better place for used oil. <laughs> the fresh water supply, for instance. What gnats piss? My father left for you. I don't want I don't want to be Nah. 
bolt cutter for whatever reason. Check. All that's missing is a pair of socks. All that's missing is a toothbrush. All I need now are some provisions. No, I haven't finished packing yet. No, I haven't finished packing yet. Ah, the first aid kit. It saved my life several times, but since the time I tried to build a shrapnel-propelled jet, there's no band-aid left. The only thing in there now is Tony's tranquilizer. Will you please clean the bathroom for once? Yeah, right, in her dreams. In you go. <laughs> Adding oil to the flames is not but. I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. Ouch! Damn it! That's hot! Whoa, look at that! The sock changed color. Who would have thought it? But where's the other one? Clear case of subtractive color mixing. Okay, I'll admit it smells of cheese, but uh, I doubt that it'll make good bait. I think I can find a better. <laughs> Come on, brushy brush. Oh crap. I need a better plan to catch it. Nah, I don't think this will work without the right bait. Okay, I'll admit it's... The oil is rancid. But I could use it for hair. The best thing about it... There's nothing left to catch here. The mouse skedaddled long ago. Which doesn't mean that it's plan- I'm not sticking my hand in there again! Just because Tony wants me to move out of the attic doesn't mean I have to move into a mouse hole. I wonder if there's anything in there that I could use on my journey. Blech.
What for? I haven't even caught a mouse yet. It already has plenty of oil stains. I think I can find a better. <laughs> I should find the matching sock first. I don't want to show up in Elysium dressed like an idiot. What's this? A sock? That explains why I've had such cheesy dreams. Socks? Check. No, I haven't finished packing yet. Toothbrush. Check. Nope. The corner once was a good hiding place, but that's the first place Tony will look. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Oh crap, I need a better plan to catch it. There's nothing left to catch here. The mouse skedaddled long ago. Which doesn't mean that its plan was b There's nothing left to the mouse which doesn't There's nothing left the mouse which doesn't Tony doesn't need another farewell present. I left her my scorpion farm. I kept the tank, of course. There's nothing left the mouse which doesn't <laughs> let's get rid of this thing. Blech. What gnats piss? There are still some wasabi peas in there. <laughs> I guess these will make good provisions for the journey. <laughs> now the little bugger's in for a surprise. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Ha! Gotcha! Ha! Gotcha! I'll make you suffer the next time I brush my teeth. Provisions? Check. Toothbrush. 
check. Ha! <laughs> Seems like I've packed everything. Oh, I can't close it anymore. Oh, seems like I've got to unpack something, but what? I'll never be able to close the suitcase with a monster like that in there. I mean, I won't need a bolt cutter where I'm going. I wonder why it was on the list in the first place. <laughs> now it sits. Packed and ready to go. Ah, I think I just strained something. <laughs> hey, Rufus, you should save your energy for the unavoidable drop into the abyss. Yeah, thanks, Wenzel. You can save your sarcasm for someone less well-prepared than me. This time, I took everything into account. It'll be a stroll in the park. Ah, that's what you said last time. It took us days to remove the cactus spikes from your butt, remember? That's all toxic runoff under the bridge. This time, everything will work out. And when finally, an Elysian Orbit Pixie massages my back, I'll ask her to pause for a minute so I can laugh about you. Whatever. But say, can I have your stuff when you're gone? Yeah, sure, help yourself. As if anything on this dump is valuable. It's time for me to leave all this behind. Great. I hope you remember to calibrate the harpoon. I'll do that later, after I've stored everything in the pod. Well, then hurry up. Well, you know that the Organon are always on time. There. Now where shall I put it? There's no room there. Oh, I really wanted to take the suitcase along. There's no room there. I'll have to load the suitcase first. I want to be better prepared this time. There, and now? There we go. I just got that from there. If I remove the seat, it might just fit, but how's it gonna be attached? And more importantly, where shall I sit? I might be able to do without this. But how's it going to be attached? And more importantly... Problem. Oh crap! It's screwed tight. Hello, Hannah. Hey, um, uh, well, uh, Rufus. Ah, I'm really terrible with names. Is the tunnel closed again? Yes, we had another collapse in Sector 7. Another junk slide? All this trash is really driving me nuts. I'm glad I'll be going for good soon. Are you? You bet. Well, 
I only know you won't be leaving through this tunnel. Did you see Tony anywhere? Tony? Big, angry, breathes fire. My former girlfriend. Ah! Tony! Well, I guess she's down in her store, working, like everybody else, except you. I'll write you a postcard from Elysium. You go ahead and do that. There you go. Ha! There you go. There. The capsule is ready. Now, all I have to do is calibrate the harpoon. There. Too bad the two directions of the control stick are blocked, but who needs those anyway? The main thing is that the crosshairs are right on the tracks. And then, I'm gone. <laughs> This'll be a walk in the park. Light the fuse, and boom! Well, that should be it. Stand by, Wenzel. Blah! Hello, Rufus. Tony, why are you sneaking around like that? This is still my house, remember? Well, it's not as obvious now since someone stole my mailbox. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to give you this letter. A letter? 
Rufus, it's almost time. Yes, I know. Sorry, Tony, but it's over. Once the fuse is lit, I'll be gone for good. If only that was true. This is the final goodbye. It's too early to jump for joy, I fear. Why are you here? Are you still hoping for a miracle? It would be a miracle if you finally disappeared for real. But in case it doesn't work out again, I'll at least have the satisfaction of seeing you injure yourself. I'm leaving. For good. I gave up hope of that a long time ago. Now is when it counts. Boogaloo. Ah, well, maybe I should read the letter. Dear Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're happy to inform you, blah, blah, blah. Get to the point, will ya? Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... Please find enclosed a voucher for a pack of rivets. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. Sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws? Whoa! What a maneuver! Hey, my suitcase is here too! It must have got entangled in the chain! <laughs> Just like I planned! Yeah, I'm getting dirt between my teeth already! I'd better leave it closed for now. Ouch! The wire's cutting into my flesh! I need, uh, well, something like, uh, uh, um, has anyone here got a bolt cutter? I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. A well-oiled gearbox! It already has plenty of oil stains. Why? Those are still good. I'll never be able to open it with that. No, I bust my butt to get this stuff out of the sofa cracks. <laughs> I haven't worked that hard for food in years. I'm, I'm better. There's a flood of trash behind it. Shit. Reminds me of my ex home. <laughs> hey! Aggressive little bugger. As long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. Yeah, I'm getting my better. What? 
Hey! Yeah, just... Yeah! I better... Hey! I gr yeah. Hey! I grew yeah, as long Not a chance. I need fingers like Wenzel's to reach into those cracks. As long as the hatch is As long as the hatch is closed, I can't Suffering from vertigo, Ms. Gold? You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? The whole Organon is involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I am an Elysian, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you wait, Ms. Gold. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Holy smoke! A real Orbit Pixie! I bet she'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go! Rufus to the rescue! She's really hot. She really suits me. One step closer and mayhem will ensue. Take that! No, don't! Ah! What's that? Ah! Oops, guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon! Men, throw him overboard! <laughs> you need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? First I'm here, and now I'm gone. Here, gone. Uh -uh. Ouch! I was so close, but no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. Locked. Huh. It can probably be opened from the inside. The windshield is encrusted with dirt. Oh, there's a sign behind it. Maybe the name of the driver? Sure, puff. Huh. That could spell anything. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. 
Well, I'm sure it'll turn up. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. You have to be age six or older to use this device. Oh, how boring is that? Toro! Hey, I said Toro! <laughs> If anything, he seems even more bored now. What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since... Since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting... <coughs> oh, draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the Dark Exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. The post office will be open o'clock? O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. Those notice boards are great. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I'd still have to search for magnets in the trash heaps. I hate lines. Number 66! Almost my lucky number. Everyone, just one number! Spoil sport. Yeah, spoil sportress, I guess. The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter? Lotech thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community, and someone has to nurse her back to health. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? Rufus? Rufus! Huh? Oh, what? Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats, because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. And I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. I'll skedaddle. Stop right there! Where do you think you're going? 
I'll go to Elysium with Goal. In that case, you're in the wrong place. This door leads to the mayor's office, and access is strictly by numbers only. So draw a number or bugger off. Goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Snoofus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! <laughs> the coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. How peacefully she sleeps. This calls for extra strong coffee. Gizmo is a doctor, police officer, and firefighter all at once. On his best days, he has to change professions every other second. Hey, goal! Goal! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. Until when? Until the sign says that it's open! But there's no clock there. Very observant. And now... Get away from that door! Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Did you hear about the woman from Elysium? Yes, but I really don't care. I already have a woman I can send into the mine shaft. It's too narrow in there for two women. <laughs> Love must be such a wonderful thing. Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. 
I see. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then, he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. Why aren't you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and, uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well, how about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. What exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk, and so pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? Tony? Let me think. Tony, Tony, Tony... Nope! I don't think I got your key. Uh, Wenzel. Let me think. Wenzel, Wenzel, Wenzel... Nope! I don't think I got your key. Rufus? Let me think. Rufus, Rufus, Rufus... Nope! I don't think I got your key. Forget it. Done! Anything else? Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Huh, this is a map of the trash tunnels. I'd better ask Hannock how this all works. No thanks, I'm on duty. Oh, this is what you call duty? Sure. What did you think duty is? Oh, I always thought duty referred to some kind of underground grotto where the workers carve garden gnomes out of tofu. Doesn't it? The blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! Touch, you're on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo. I, uh, I plan to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot, and, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah, great. Thanks.
Nat's piss. The only thing to drink on the planet. Huh, not true. Luckily, I'm not susceptible to advertising. <laughs> I could do with a steak now. What's that supposed to be? Is Lonzo building a cactus press? Or a faster mixer? Impossible. He would surely have asked me to help. I'll skedaddle. This brings water to the houses, or with fluid nitrogen, depending on the escape plan. 